Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2014 NFL Draft Team Needs Analysis, and this video is for the New England Patriots, who finished 2013 with a record of 12-4, earning the number two seed in the AFC. And at the time I'm taping this video, they are going to host uh, Indianapolis this upcoming weekend in the divisional round of the playoffs. And when you dissect the needs for the Patriots, I think first and foremost where, where you have to start is on the offensive side of the ball and on the offensive line. As Tom Brady advances in his career here, it's going to be paramount to make sure the protection around him is, is very good and very good so not only can they keep, keep Tom Brady upright, but so Tom Brady can keep on producing at the level that they're accustomed to seeing. And I think you have to start in the interior of the offensive line. Ryan Wendell, the center, a free agent, unrestricted free agent this offseason, having an underwhelming year. Do they look to upgrade that position in the draft? I think it could very well be possible, if not at least add depth. And then you look at the, the guard position opposite Logan Mankins, currently manned by Dan Connolly. Dan Connolly came into the league in 2005, approaching his 10th year um, in the league. Again, do they look for a guy to upgrade over Connolly or at very least build depth? When you have an offensive line coach like, like Dante Scarnecchia, who's known for developing offensive linemen, maybe there's not the need to take one in the first round, um, especially at the guard or center position, but take guys to build depth and in the future have guys ready to step in when maybe some of these guys um, move on here. But it'd be interesting to see what they do at the center position, considering Wendell is a free agent. You go from the offensive interior line to the defensive interior line. It's my second biggest need for the Patriots. Look, the injury is well chronicled to Will Fork and Kelly. And while they have guys like Joe Volano, like Saliga, really you know, doing their best to fill those shoes, um, you want to be prepared next year if you're the Patriots uh, because you're going to have Will Fork and Kelly presumably back next year too. Older guys at those positions, you know, make sure you have even more depth built up there on the interior of the defensive line. Again, not talking about you know a blue chip guy here, talking about lunch pail guys that they can build depth with that can be solid starters for them potentially at a bargain you know, a little bit later. So offensive line, defensive line on the interior, the two biggest needs I see. And then lastly, the cornerback spot. This free agent situation with Aqib Tlaib will be one of the most interesting to watch in the offseason. Do they give him the big money? Um, are they? Do they see what they need to see from him from an on-field perspective and from an off-field perspective to think he can handle you know, a pretty lucrative free agent contract? If not, do they move on from him? And if they do, that obviously opens a spot at cornerback. And, and whether you know they decide uh, to go with Dennard and Arrington and draft someone to be a part of the rotation, whether they then try to maybe go after a corner in a deep cornerback draft to just outright replace Tlaib, that remains to be seen. But the first ball that's going to drop with that is whatever Tlaib decides to do, and I think it's going to be interesting to watch. So I go on both interiors of, of both lines on offense and defense and the cornerback spot, depending on what happens with Tlaib, as my three biggest needs for the Patriots. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing these videos for all 32 teams. We'll also cover the NFL wall-to-wall -wall 365 days a year, guys. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.